I'm negating your ass. If you think for a damn second I'm not negating you. Seems to me that people are always on the lookout for more Sword Soul content, and I'm all too happy to oblige, but something that people were asking me on my couple of previous videos was Ringo Worm. Is it still playable? And yes, it absolutely is. It's a bit of a different version, but you can definitely still play this card. For a little while, the priority of playing basically any deck in the game was maximizing the number of hand traps you possibly could. So Ringo Worm, unfortunately, just lost its place to hand traps. Now, Sword Soul in general, if you were to check the tier list, has had so few top cut finishes, it has totally fallen off on performance, which I find somewhat surprising, but at the same time, it's a pretty old deck. It has been power crept at this stage, and that is fair. So what we're doing is, again, we're taking our old super heavy samurai sword soul list into ranked, and we're just going to see if we can't use the additional gas from the SHS engine to boost up our sword soul package to make it that much stronger. And what is actually interesting here is that the ring worm is actually more powerful in the sword soul in the super heavy samurai variant than it is in regular sword soul. And one of the main reasons behind that is how easy it is to go into Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. And normally with the Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon, right, the only useful card alongside it is Motorbike. So if you don't open Motorbike, you can't play the card, right? Whereas now you have an additional level two tuner that you can play. So that actually makes Axel even stronger, which is kind of the whole benefit of playing the Super Heavy Samurai cards. So it's very interesting in that regard. Um, so yeah, honestly, I've been playing this a little bit. I, I am loving it. A win rate hasn't been super fantastic, but again, we're still playing in the top tier meta. Shit is still everywhere, right? We're still dealing with crazy fucking... The amount of times that like people have like milled two transaction rollback against me playing um, lab and just completely debarriered me out of synchros is unreal, right? It keeps on happening, and it's a pain in my ass. But most matchups were able to put up a pretty impressive board. I've got a couple of replays I want to show you where we're going to get a look at that. And then we're going to play some games live, as we normally do, and we're going to have a fun time. So if you want to catch more videos just like this one or anything else, of course, that you want to see on this channel, make sure you're subscribed to catch it as it comes out. And make sure you like this video as well to help us get it out to more people. Let's get into the replays. Already getting into our first replay here. We are going first and we have a pretty damn good hand. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to start off with our Wakushi then and our Ashir. We're going to play Big Benkai. Big Benkai is going to get searching for our Gaia. We're going to use then the Gaia equipping on the Wakushi before special summoning itself. And this is where the Ringo Worm comes up. We're going to go in the Monk of the Tenyu here. And when Monk of the Tenyu begins special summon that Ringo Worm from our hand. We're going to go into the regular Stardust Dragon. No point in using that. I actually have since cut this card because I had something else I wanted to put in. Pretend this is Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. We're still playing Axel. We just cut the original. We're going to use these now to go into Baron de Fleur. Now we have, right? And this is the thing about how this deck works. We have Baron on field and Pendulum skills in action without using our normal summon at all before doing any of our Swords will plays. So we have a Baron protecting ourselves from Nib, and we also have Pendulum skills, and we have not normal summoned. Absolutely mental, right? This is the gas that Sword Soul needs. So now we're in a position where we can just normal summon Tyre. We're going to banish the Ashuna from the graveyard for the Tyre. We're going to synchro summon then using it and its token into the Grand Master. Then Grand Master going to search our deck as well as Tyre going to milling us an additional card. Uh, we sort of had the choice here between um, Protoss and Long Wan. I opt to go for Long Wan because of. Snake Eyes, right? Snake Eyes playing Fire. I don't really feel like the Dark Lock is worth it. I'm about to be proven wrong here, and the Dark Lock would have saved our asses, but either way, we're going to summon out the Long One, and it's token to go into our Sinister Sovereign. Uh, we actually call it a turn here, but we actually had more plays. We had a usable Ashuna in the graveyard, as well as a usable Ringo Worm in the graveyard, so we actually have a ton of follow-up here for our next turn as well. So getting into our opponent's turn, they're playing Math Mech. Now, I actually kind of mess up. I kind of mess up, kind of don't. This was an early Baron, for sure. Too early on the Baron, should not have done that. Um, however, as you're going to see here, they kind of just had everything they needed. Uh, they are going to reduce our Baron down by a thousand before going into Lingaribo, so we're holding on to our Sinister Negate. I honestly was holding on to Sinister here because I thought I would have been able to banish Lingaribo in response to Parallel Lixie's effect, but unfortunately that's not how his effect works. It only activates immediately on the trigger of the summon. So we don't actually get to, to banish it pre-exceed, right? So that sort of rearranged my plans and sort of defeated the purpose of what I was doing. So now that sort of put me on the back foot. 
I didn't realize that's how that ruling worked, so that's my bad. They're going to go into Laplacian here, so we're going to use our Sinister Sovereign to force the Laplacian to use its negate now. And then we're going to use the Grand Master to negate the negate, so we can actually stop our whole field from getting destroyed, and we can banish that Laplacian. The problem is, that, that now leaves us with no interruptions, and we still have to deal with the fact that this guy's playing Math Mech with three monsters on board, so that is... That, that's a damn threat, right? So they're going to go into Splash Mage here, of course. Splash Mage going to bring a card back from Graveyard, bring it back to Diameter, going to link it off into a Link Decoder. We're going to speed this up just a little bit. They're going to go into the Transcode Talker. Uh, link Decoder then coming back from the Graveyard. Transcode going to bring back the Splash Mage. Now going to link 5 into uh, Neo Tempest Terahertz. Terahertz into the battle phase, sending the multiplication from Deck to Graveyard, boosting up the 11k, and they take game anyway. So I know we lost that game. But I feel like that replay showed off a lot of what we were trying to do, right? And in most cases, a board like that is pretty damn formidable. But math mech do be math mech, right? <laughs> Not just, they just do be like that. I just don't, again, I don't mind showing off losses as long as we actually get some decent gameplay out of it. And that showed off most kind of what we want to do. Uh, but yeah, our opponent just had better cards. Next game. Already in the replay number two here. No super heavy samurai shenanigans to be seen. We're going to start off course with our strategist dropping the Ashina. We're going to special summon out that Ringo Worm then on summon number four going in the Baron. That's our nib protection. We are Gucci. We're going to inflict 1200 points of burn damage here. Going to go for our Taya then. Taya going to banish the strategist from the graveyard. Notice no Moya yet. I haven't seen Moya in the last six, six games. Uh, we're going to go into our Grandmaster and Taya just like before. Now, there are alternative ways of going into something like the Mo Yi, for example, milling it off of this and then going into potentially like a box here to pop a card and bring it back. Totally playable. We're going to go watch Nemesis Protos here. We're going to keep it nice and simple. Banish and free from the graveyard. Going to call Dark. And just like that, we've still got the ability to very easily go into the traditional Sword Soul and board. Then I'm going to go for one of the Seeker of Sinful Spoils. You cannot summon Dark, though. You are, in fact, blocked. That means no DFL Star. That means no IP Mascarina. That means none of that bullshit is coming out here. They do still get to go into Ash, though. But the Grandmaster being able to hit that Ash within the gate is absolutely massive. So stopping the Poplar search as well, stopping him from sending cards to the grave. But he just has the Poplar in hand like a fucking mad lad. Going to go for Subversion then. Subversion then going to target our Baron. Of course we're going to negate that shit. Obviously, we have to. Uh, so that's, again, we kind of forced into using our Omni there. Our opponent is still locked out of Dark, but they do have plays. That is the benefit of playing a multiple uh, attribute archetype. But unfortunately, our opponent in this particular game did not have plays. Because what are they going to go into? You can't go into Link, Link Karibo. Uh, you can't go into anything like that. You can't go into IP. What are you going to do? And he just decided to call it quits. And I don't blame him. And that's the power of Protoss, right? Protoss calling Dark is still a very powerful thing. Not only in the Snake Eyes matchup, but also in basically any other matchup, to be perfectly honest. Uh, yeah, standard Sword Soul -Sor still doing its stuff. Let's get into the live gameplay. Ignore the rank. I got deranked a bunch when I was trying to play um, Earthbound Tier Elements, which is a really, really fun deck. Um... It's just not super great. <laughs> so we did get the rank playing it. There will be a video coming out on that, though, pretty shortly. I'm still working on it, but, like, it's a very fun deck. Uh, so if you want to catch that, make sure you're subscribed, of course. And if you got this far, make, you know, like this video as well. You might as well while you're here. Um, yeah, this is just a sword soul ass hand. This is a pray they don't have imperm ass hand. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I fuck with it. Let's go. All right, we're going to go for the Ashuna, of course. Special summoning out the Ashuna. No Maxi, which is nice. No Imperm. Question mark? I don't really want to go Emergence in the Strat... Right, so, like, if you really wanted to protect yourself here, you go Emergence in the Strategist and, like, put up your Baron the gate. But then you don't have Protos, right? And where's the fun in that? So I'm definitely going to go for the Moyi here. This is the first time I've seen Moyi in, like, six games. Crazy. Revealing the Taya. Don't want him to know we've got Emergence just yet. Gonna use these two then. You're bound to have Nib, right? Your, your dumbass has Nibiru. There's no goddamn way it doesn't. Right? It's gotta. Alright, we're gonna use these two then. We're going to go into our Grandmaster. Big old plus two here. Grandmaster gets searching. And Moyi will draw us a card as well. Chain blocking our Grandmaster. Not that it seems as though he has Ash, but, you know. Ooh, that's a fucking card. That's a goddamn card right there. Holy shit. I will be adding that to my hand. No spells and traps and griff, man. We are in fucking business. We're in business. 
Uh, I am gonna go strategist first. I'm gonna test the waters. I'm gonna see if he really does have nib or not. I'm just gonna test, right? If he has it, he has it. If he doesn't, he doesn't, right? There's nothing that there's nothing that at this stage could be done about it. He doesn't have it. That's great. Oh my god, we're off to the fucking races. We're off to the fucking races. We are killing it right now. All right, Baron, out you come. This is amazing. Let's get our little little chip in, little burn damage in. Why not? Take my chip. Now we're gonna go for the Wakushi here. Oh, this guy's better scoop. He's better fucking surrender. He's gonna leave. He's gonna uninstall the game, pack his bags. He's gonna fly to Ethiopia and just disappear off the face of the earth. Uh, we're gonna play then our other big Benkai from our deck. Luckily, I do play two now. I have learned my lesson. I'm not playing that card at one anymore. Because <laughs> I hate opening it up. I still see it in my hand like every fucking game. It's really annoying, but at least I'm not like hard breaking my whole engine on it. So it is, it's fine, right? Right, pick your poison. Gotta pick your poison sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna target our prodigy here. I do want to free up just a little bit of space here, so I am gonna go into Monk of the Tinyi using our Ashuna here. Uh, just to free up a little monster zone. Gonna activate our Gaia then. Gaia's going to. Summon itself out. We've got a water engrave. We don't seem to have a ton that we can do engrave here. So what we're going to do, I'm probably just going to go... Oh, do I not have Dragite? Oh, shit, I'm not playing Dragite. Um, damn, Dragite would have been real nice. <laughs> Dragite would have been, been kind of nice, not going to lie. Um, that's okay. I guess they'll make this work. That's fine. So we're going to go Draco Berserker then instead. Hell yeah. Druko Berserker of the Tenyi. That's going to allow us to place our Wakushi back in the our extra monster zone. And we are going to get a little bit spacey here, I think. We are going to get spacey. We're going to go for the Ashuna here. Going to banish the Ashuna. We're going to summon out any of these dorks from our deck. Let's go for Adara. It doesn't really matter which one. All right. Then we're going to go Adara and Monk in the Shaman. Now, this is going to backfire if he has the nib and was just holding off. He doesn't, right? He doesn't. We know he doesn't. But if he does, right, this is going to hurt. <laughs> so we're going to use the Shaman. We're going to drop the useless Benkai. We're going to summon back the Taya that we discarded earlier in the turn. We're going to summon that shit right here. Do I even have anything else worth summoning, actually? We could go Yazi, I guess. Or Boxy, um... Yeah, we could go into, like, a Shao Feng Lock. That'd be neat. Okay, let's do a Shao Feng Lock. Let's go Emergence. We're going to grab Protoss, of course. Oh, we've got a Dark on field. Oh, that's kind of annoying, actually. Oh, we could do a Fire Lock using the Shaman. Oh, that's neat. Let's do that. I haven't done that before. See, even I'm exploring new lands with y'all. It's great. So we go Sword Soul of Taya. I can only use Tinyi monsters for this this turn. So if I go in the box here, yeah, I can't actually do the Shao Feng Lock. So that kind of sucks. But that's okay. I think that's totally fine, actually. I think we're just going to go for Sword Soul of Taya. We're going to banish Emergence from Grave. Summon itself. I really wish I had the ability to drive him up just one more level, uh, one more level, right? But I don't, so no point in crying over it. I'm not even playing shuffling in my deck. I just realized <laughs> that is a okay by me. So we're gonna fire lock him here. So we are. We're, we're definitely gonna fire lock him here. That's the thing. Though the one thing about this deck that I'm not huge on is that it's fucking tight, my guy. Like trying to fit all this shit in here is tough. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Alright, Protos call fire. And then if they're playing any sort of fire shenanigans, they're, um, they're dead. We Gucci, look at this! It's a hell of a fucking board! They're fire locked, we've got the Omni with the Baron, we've got the Monster Nigi, we've got the Monster Banish, we've got Skeels for next turn, we got Tyre for follow-up. What's not the love? You fucking, you love to see it. 
I may not be playing fires, of course, right? Oh, okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Numeron calling. They're just gonna. Oh, they're just gonna fucking. Oh damn. Hang on. Oh shit. That's not good. Does this matter? Like, I'm thinking logically. I don't think they have the, um... I don't think they have it. I really don't. I really don't think they have it. At least they've got, they've got an easy attack target in the... Oh! Oh, they're going for it. They're going for the Mega Clops off the rip. Oh, shit. Mega Clops off the rip is a ballsy move. I respect it. I respect it, honestly. Um, yeah, damn. Fucked my ass up. Oh, Duster stings. Duster does sting. I really wanted my skills, I'm not gonna lie. Losing the skills does hurt. Shit, man. This is a... Uh... It's gonna be annoying. We're not out of the game or anything like that yet. We got plenty of plays, but it's just um, not what I was expecting to be putting up with here. I'm not gonna lie. Not what I was expecting. So we're gonna start with Taya. Gonna banish this, I don't know, Shaman, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Okay, not a, he doesn't have a play right now. That's good. That's a good start. Right, what is our out to the Mega Clops? Damn. <laughs> this thing's fucking annoying. This thing is really annoying, huh? Holy shit. Um. Okay, right, 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 right. So we can add back a, uh, we can add back a Banished Worm. I think I will do that. Any of our level 10s any good? Unaffected by other monsters' effects, and even passive effects, huh? Unaffected by... yeah. Shit. Uh, I guess short of back row, there isn't really an out, is there? Huh. I'm gonna go Boxia here. Just to um, clear up some of the back row, basically. So we're gonna spin this ship back to deck. Then we've also got Taya. Taya's gonna mill us a card. That's good. Okay, damn, this, could, this is fucking not what I was expecting to have to out today. I'm not gonna lie, I was not expecting the fate of Mega Clops off the fucking rip, but I mean, here we are. <laughs> this is the world we're living in. Oh, I can grab Blackout. Oh, yeah, I could just do that, right? Okay, that's an easy out, then, I guess. We could do that. That's an easy out. Let's see in the Vishuda. Back to deck. Love to see it. Um. Okay, so let's activate you. We're going to banish... We're going to destroy the... Berserker. We're going to bring back Moyi. You need to be kind of fast about this. 
I'm going to activate Mo Yi. Going to reveal a Shuna. Summon itself. Or a token, sorry. Then a special summon. We're going to go into our Grand Master. And Blackout is our, is our way out of this. Our Grand Master. Then we'll get searching for our Blackout. We'll get to draw an extra card as well, which is nice. I was kind of thinking Pep, but like even Pep doesn't out it per se. It just gives me an advantage. But like this actually sort of deals with it, which is which is better. I'm gonna declare Earth, I guess, just to stop him from summoning another one. Cause he could totally just summon another one, right? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do this, and then we're gonna wait till battle phase, and then in battle phase we're gonna pop a blackout pop this and the field spell so then even if in main phase 2 he has another field spell he can't like um he can't do anything with it right that's that's the thought process so we target the the protos target the mega clops target the the numero network get that shit out of here yup me and two one for one Dropping a monster from hand. Dropping Gamma from hand. Okay. No wrong wall. If you control no cards, except this. You can send this card from your hand. Or the, 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 yeah, sure. He does, in fact. Yeah, there you go. He had another way of getting into the field spell. So it's a good thing we called Earth, huh? <laughs> uh, he can still go, like, Avramax, which would still be hella annoying, actually. Um, but not insurmountable. It would be untargetable, but it would be destroyable. It would, it would, however, mean sacrificing all of my monsters too, which is not ideal. Um, but he could definitely go Avramax. He could even go Apollosa, I guess. But Apollosa wouldn't work, so probably not Apollosa. Avramax is your play here, for sure. Assuming you have it, right? Because extra deck's bound to be tight. Your extra deck's bound to be hella tight. There's no way you can get away with playing all that shit. Our extra deck's pretty tight as well. I was going to say this earlier on. So I'm playing around with a lot of like funky options. Like Dispiator, for example, is not a card you're going to use very often. You could probably replace that with likes of a Shao Feng. Uh, things like that you could definitely change. I'm negating your ass. If you think for a damn second I'm not negating you. Get that fucking pussy shit out of here. Five cards left and extra. I'm not summoning a token. Alright, see ya. Jesus! That match took way longer than it should have. But, um... There you go. Outing the unoutable, I guess. Next game. That one took way longer uh, than I was expecting it to. We do lose a coin toss, but that's totally fine. I do like sort of showing first and second uh, when it comes to these types of videos. That's all good. So ideally, if you're going second, realistically, the only way you get to play the game is if you open Mokushi, right? That's it. Motorbike's a close second. Motorbike is a very close second. So Motorbike can grab us the Mokushi, which is nice. Uh, Protoss in hand gives us a little bit of flexibility. Max C in hand as well. If our opponent doesn't have an out, if, if they don't have an out, we win the game, right? I mean, that's just how Max C works. But they're bound to have an out. They're bound to. Yeah, there was no way they wouldn't. I did, yeah, that, that's fine. It's, it's, it's never punished. But, um. Da, 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 da. That's an Earth Engrave. Damn, we got a lot of fucking Earth monsters. Damn, Vanquish Soul would be loving it here. Vanquish Soul would be loving it here. I'm gonna go Divine Temple of Snake Eye. Um, this is an awkward one. This is not an easy like. I'm like it. No, I get. I'm a liar. Sorry, I'm a liar. I forgot that that card existed. I'm a liar. For some reason, I had it in my head that this was like a rough position for them. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I had to break it to you. It isn't. It's fine. It's easy. Uh, unironically, the whole not having attributes thing is a real pain. I don't know if we're going to be able to power through this. Them having like an Appaloosa and shit on board is going to make Motorbike resolving little more than a fucking pipe dream. 
Trying to think about what we do then instead. Well, Kyushi and Gaia and Benkai's effects all kind of spell effects. Which is good. Well, I guess no. Gaia's effect in hand counts as a monster effect. Which kind of sucks. Hmm. Yeah. Apollosa makes this very difficult. If he goes in the four material Apollosa, we may just be we may just be shit out of luck, I'm not gonna lie. We may just be shit out of luck. Alright, there's Mascarina. Standard stuff. Gonna go Flamberge. Bring him back. Ash and Poplar. Okay, there it is. Gotta love some fresh battery acid. Oh, Jesus. Not for kids. I'm gonna fuck. Um, okay, Oak gonna bring a car. Oh no, Oak's not gonna bring a car back. He's sending a car to Grave to summon, I can only imagine, another Flamberge. Is there anything left even to summon? <laughs> yeah, and another Flamberge. Then you want to link two off into Princess. Probably want to keep your flam. I mean, it doesn't matter, ultimately. It really doesn't matter which of these other two he uses. Yeah, he is going to use the flam birch, that's fair. Into Princess. All right, all right, all right. Princess going to grab a flam birch back from Grave. Then flam birch going to set IP to the back row. Well rehearsed combo. Well rehearsed combo. Again, that's all Snake Eyes is right now. Is just copy pasta, copy pasta, the deck. Okay, then they got the swarm ship. Pass swarm ship pass. I guess. Damn, you haven't even used Poplar's effect yet. Oh shit! All right, shit. Double Flambirds then, I guess. Okay, this is not insurmountable. IP is really fucking awkward, though. IP is really awkward, though, man. A light is good. Light is good. We, li we like light. Light is fun. Light is nice. Light is good. I'm going to activate Motorbike while he doesn't have Apollos on board. Perfect. Grab a Kyushi. And now we're going to go for a Dara. I'm going to see if I can trick him into summoning Princess before anything else. If I can get him to summon Princess before he before he IPs, that would be pretty funny. And I only say that because, like, they do that a lot. A lot of people don't read. Sometimes you just got to sometimes you just got to bank on your opponent being bad at the game. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta put it all in black, right? And just go for it, right? So we got the Ecclesia. Oh, that princess is tempting. He's tempted by the princess. I would be too. I would be too. I don't blame you. I would be as well. Gonna activate its effect. And a special summon. Yeah, we'll grab Boyi. So that's our that's our third attribute at least, right? So that's fine. We got three attributes now, which is good, right? So we reveal the Arch Nemesis. He might go for Princess on our token. Oh yes, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, I knew this would happen. I fucking knew if I played it like this, they would make that mistake. They always do. They always make that mistake. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I simply love it. Oh, that's just my favorite. <laughs> You're a fucking idiot. 
What are you doing? <laughs> God, I love it. All right, perfect. Perfect. I could, to be a dick, I could go, um, Proto's Call Fire right now. I could. And the reason I have a call fire over calling dark is because if we call fire, then he doesn't have anything to use as material with uh, with IP, right? So the IP is just useless. So I I'm, I'm fairly certain we just go Proto's call fire, <laughs> right? I think we will. I think we will. I think it's it's a dick move, but I love it. Are you useful to me? Yeah, you're kind of useful to me. I'll keep you around. Again, we're not playing Dragite right now. I probably will put in Dragite over the Dispater. But um, for now, we don't have it. So it is what it is. All right. Arch, Arch Nemesis for fire. Sucks to suck. It means that we can't go long one, but I don't care about that. That's fine. That's totally fine. Totally. Absolutely fine. All right, we're going to play Wakushi and the Pendulum skill. Activating its effect. Grab ourselves a Benkai. Summon itself in defense. Using the Benkai, we're going to get searching our deck for our Gaia. Good, good, good. We're going to activate the Gaia. We're going to equip it on the Wakushi. Bang, bang. Then we're going to activate the Gaia. We're going to summon it out to the field. We're going to go in to Axel. We're going to use our Sword Soul token. And we're going to use the Gaia. Just because, you know, it gets the token off our field. A little bit more versatility. We don't really need the Pendulum Summon uh, just yet. So it's not like a huge concern or anything like that. Then we're going to go Axel Synchro Stardust Dragon. Going to bring back the Motorbike from Grave. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So we've got Baron, Dispeter... Oh, that's a play. I could dispute or bring back Ecclesia. I don't know if it's worth it, though. I don't know if it does anything. Oh, he's, he's gone anyway. <laughs> yup, see ya. Fucking see ya. I am going to make one small change to the deck, maybe to just to the extra deck, and then we'll hop in for one more. Just for full transparency, uh, the changes I made, I tagged out the Dispater and the Chaos Angel for Dragite and the OG Stardust. Just an interest in making sure we're definitely safe from Noob. Small changes overall, Dispater and Chaos Angel don't really come up very often. Chaos Angel in theory is really cool and I'll talk more about that at the end. Uh, but this Peter, uh, I kind of put it in because I had an idea for a Crimson Dragon lane and then Crimson Dra Dragon didn't work out and then I just kind of like left it in there. So it, it needed to come out to be perfectly honest. Uh, but anyways, last game. All right, our third and final game of the video. Let's see if our opponent is going to win the coin toss. Of course, that's totally fine. It, it happens. I get it. That's fair. You know, it is what it is. Um, I wonder if we're going to take an L in this video. Be pretty interesting if we uh, went to another another video without taking an L. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't like that. That's... I don't like that. You gotta knock that shit in the head, Chief. You made me go first? Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh, hell no. Nah. All right. Wakushi well, first. Uh, do we go Wakushi well, first or do we go Dara? Hang on, right? Let, let, me, let me do the mathematics, right? Let me do the mathematics. So if I summon a Dara, right? That's one summon. Wakushi's well, two summon. Guy is three summon. Oh, I don't have a tuner. I don't have... Motorbike. Mmm. I can't even do the Baron line, huh? Can't even do the Baron line. Silly goose. Well, if that's the case, then I have no reason not to summon Adara. Right? So we're going to go Adara right here. Activate Wakushi. We're going to play the Benkai into the other zone. I kind of want to play just regular Super Heavy Samurai. I don't know why. Um, I kind of like these cards. But um, I've never played the deck pure. I, like, not, like, seriously. I played a couple of test matches and things back when I was going to do a video on it, but then I just never did. Uh, and I might go back to it. Now that its sort of popularity has died off a little bit, 
I might go back to it. it could be pretty fun. Ooh, you got that drool on him, huh? You got that whole fucking fang. Boy, strapped. Shit. He got that more fucking fang on him. Uh. Sure, I guess we just go Draco Pass here. Not the greatest board in the world, but um, it'll do. It's a board. It is one of. It is a board of all time. It is one of the boards that have ever existed. Definitely one of the boards that have that have ever existed for sure. Uh, let's just go Draco and pass. Sets up our pendulum skills. Uh, gives us a interruption during our opponent's turn, so it's not terrible, right? That is what it is. It's not great, of course, but you know, just do what you can. We still, um, we still have the max C, which is nice. What can I pendulum summon? Can I pendulum? I can't pendulum summon. Oh, I can pendulum summon the max C. That would be a huge mistake. That would be rather detrimental to my long-term enjoyment of Master Duel. <laughs> We're up against Zig, Zig, and you fucking basic bitch, dripless fucking attitude. Man, if only someone could have seen this coming. I'm definitely banishing that dumbass. I'm definitely banishing your dumbass. I'm, I'm gonna go for Maxi as well. Just because. Just because, right? If he has an attitude, he has an attitude. If he if he do, but if he doesn't, then he doesn't. All right, getting rid of Ohime could actually be a, a, could actually be a big deal. I'm not gonna lie. Ohime is a bit of a problem. So as long as he doesn't get into like a second Ohime, I guess, then we're fine. You know. Um. Okay, grabbing. Yep, he equipped the the, the wind equip spell. That makes sense. Dropping the... Oh, dropping the, um... Q Lee. Oh, because you, you got a second one. Okay. Gonna summon a Q Lee. Gonna equip it on with the Makonko Dance. That makes his cards untargetable. And it grabs him a Makonko Trap card from his deck. Rivalry, I'm pretty sure, allows him to equip any equip spell on the My Monster. So long as he controls a Makonko card. Yeah, so he can, like, negate my shit and stuff like that. Which is less than ideal, of course. Not really what you want to be doing to me. I would recommend against doing that. Oh, shit. Oh, that's inconvenient. I forgot that this card has more text on it. Oh, no. That's really bad, actually, huh? Okay. Shit. Because he could, at any stage, steal one of my monsters. Please tell me Reverie comes from deck or graveyard. <laughs> from your deck. Fuck. <laughs> oh... This is gonna be tough. All right, let's go for Monk of the Tenyi. Summoning out the Monk, here we are. All right, we're gonna activate Emergence. Gonna grab ourselves. Hiya, I guess. I is the only one that makes sense. Guess we could just normal summon you, right? If I pendulum summon both of you out, right, then that means that it... Uh, if he goes Rondo, I, I'm kind of screwed. If he just goes Axe of Fools, then we're fine. But if he goes Rondo, I'm kind of screwed. I am going to pendulum summon these two. So out comes Taya. Out comes the Ghost Bell. If he just goes like Axe of Fools, we're fine. Um he's allowing us to allowing us to banish, which is nice. Alright, gonna banish the um emergence. Targeting Taya. Alright, okay. Are you just gonna go Axe of Fools? Really? No, he goes Rondo. That was not the time to do that. You, you you could have stopped me from getting my token. Unless you wanted me to have a token. But like... That ain't it, Chief. That ain't it, Chief. You think I don't have a plan? You think I don't have a fucking plan B? I 
if I go Punisher, like I'm I'm some risky fucking territory if I go Punisher right now. It is some risky territory if I go Punisher. Fuck it, we ball. Uh, I wish I don't have a monster on board. Fine, end of the battle phase. We're gonna buy boost up to sixty-five hundred. Yeah, I just lose. I just lost the game. <laughs> it's fine. I'll take my lumps. Forty-seven to the face. Me and phase two. Yeah, I've got nothing. Yeah, you got a chief. That's fair. I just wanted to beat his ass a little bit. Makongo is still a deck. Makongo is still a deck. You know, uh, they're 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 all right. Maybe I was a little bit pre. Uh, I don't know. I think I hit a nice target off of Drago. Yeah, I would say we did okay there. I don't know if there was much else I could have done about that, given our hand and things. But sometimes it'd be like that. Let's get a look at the deck. It's a shame that Ringo didn't come up during the live gameplay part, but at least we got him active in the replays, which is nice. Uh, so one of the main sort of points of Ringo in particular was people mentioning to me that they liked playing Chaos Angel in uh, combination with it because you get that synchro protection and you're absolutely correct. You will 100% be able to do that. Chaos Angel is a very powerful card and you could definitely play it. Other cards you can get away with are Bestial Dispater and Crimson Dragon. So the Crimson Dragon is easy enough to summon in this deck, actually. Um... And you can use it in combination with something like your Baron, which unlike before with like the traditional Sword Soul combo, which you could only really manage a 10 and an 8, now you can go into a 10 before you even start your combo, meaning going into an 8 uh, is easier. Uh, a second 8 in particular, you can actually go into two 8s very easily uh, using this, which means that getting a level 12 isn't that tough because you just combine it with a level 4 tuner, like Wakushi, like a Sword Soul token, like a Ecclesia, right? So getting in the Crimson Dragon's not that tough, and then you can target the Baron that you already have to bring a Dispater. Dispater can bring back like Banish Light and Dark cards, like your, again, Ecclesia, like your Ringo Worm, things like that. Uh, even if you were to banish the likes of Grandmaster from your graveyard for one of your various banishment effects, you can then bring it back off of the Dispater. So there's a few sort of like, good things you could do there with Dispater. It's definitely a good card. Uh, it's just that your extra deck is extremely tight right so you really want to have the double grandmaster in there you really want to have baron cheng ying sinister sovereign pep is pretty situational but he does come up uh your monks your shaman shaman is kind of somewhat optional although it is a really fucking good card uh you want at least one box here most people run two most people think it's a sin to run less than two box here i get it boxy is amazing but it's just so tight, man. The extra deck is so tight. It, you have to make a concession somewhere. Um, you don't have to run the OG Stardust Dragon. It just helps combat Noob a little bit more. If you were to open up with the Lexa Motorbike in hand, it just helps a little bit. Again, situational. Not going to come up every single time. So there's, there's a few things you can sort of cut here. And the flexibility is there. But it doesn't really matter what way you slice it. It's going to be tight. Because uh, then uh, that's not even considering the fact that some people like playing um, Shao Fang, right? This card. A lot of people love playing this because it locks your opponent out of using either light or dark monster effects. Very good effect. Uh, that's not counting Azurine. People really like playing this card, myself included. I, I don't like summon it too often in Sword Soul, but it's a really good card you can summon. So there's a ton of extra deck options you can go for. So how you decide to build it is entirely unique to you. You just do your thing, have some fun, play around, experiment with different options. Uh, all in all, when all was said and done, I opted for this, right? That may change in a game-to-game -game basis. Who knows? Who cares? If you got this far into the video, I hope you enjoyed actually watching it. And maybe you learned a little bit something from the gameplay. Maybe you've got some questions, some pointers, anything at all about the deck. You can leave them below or hop into the Discord and do it there. But one way or the other, that's us wrapping up for the day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.